Okay, guys, I just did a uh, simple kind of test here. We reduced that to like four turns. That's why that's all messy. Um, we took the high and the low through a full wave bridge, bypassed the resonance coil, uh, directly into the capacitor, out the gap to the toroid. I get a wrench across it. Sometimes it sparks, sometimes it don't. I wanted to see if the charge rate was much increased. Uh, the first earth ground is uh, off for now. These are, again, just experiments. Um, that earth ground is connected. So let's turn this on for you and uh, show you what it does. I can adjust the current now, which is not a problem. And it, the charge rate is, you know, considerably faster. And uh, we are getting output, no problem. Um, so that's 25 joule directly out of the SMKJ rectified into a cap, dumped through a gap to a primary. And we're getting, a, uh, that's what we're getting on a one turn secondary. Let me just show you that. It's really nothing too impressive. I don't think you'd want to touch it. <laughs> but uh, uh, just the way it is, it's not all that overly impressive. So it's pulling about, uh, you know, up to 150 watts. So we'll turn this off. You can see the uh, the ground energy is lighting with each pulse. It, it, like it builds and then it collapses. Okay, so um, what I'm considering doing now... I'm going to do a bunch of experiments with the SMKJ in different arrangements. I was going to try uh, uh, both the high and the low, single diode using the center, no spark gap, uh, just basically combining both left and right into the positive, into one side of a capacitor through a spark gap uh, like that one, and another one of these caps and putting that on the input of that thing and we're going to see if, what that does i don't know how well it's going to work but we're going to find out because i think that's what i'm going to try next all right guys uh the reason that's like the buffer circuit i spoke of earlier there it's just like to if i take one quarter of that capacity one add another capacitor so then there's five in the system and another spark gap and um I charge that from this and two more diodes. Charge that from this and uh, dump it to the primary of that. It's going to raise the voltage way high and we're already a quarter of the capacity. So we're going to see what that should probably get pretty interesting there. And that's, well, that's what I'm going to do. Ciao.